Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. I've always had a fascination with the God of War series, especially on the PS2. Before the first game's release in 2005, nobody had ever seen this kind of visual fidelity on the old console, especially not when so much is happening on screen. This might explain why it's been so hard to replicate the magic on PCSX2. Certainly, I've made videos in the past bemoaning the game's graphical bugs on the emulator. In this video, for example, I showed how much better it ran on RPCS3. Not just that, but it seemed to be much easier to set up. But okay, that was three years ago. What about now? PCSX2 has received a lot of updates and is now on version 2.7. The latest nightly builds have incorporated even more fixes and advancements, so how well do the God of War games run on PCSX2? And how do they compare to the God of War collection on RPCS3? Let's find out. Thank you! Thank the gods you came back for me! I didn't come back for you. No! The last time I played God of War on PCSX2, there were still visual bugs like minor ghosting and horizontal lines and these could only be resolved with manual hardware fixes. It required some arm grease to get right, and I imagine some people got discouraged and just played it on RPCS3. However, things have changed. Both God of War games run perfectly on the emulator now at default settings. There's no ghosting or horizontal lines, and you can safely upscale God of War 2 beyond 720p. Just a reminder that V-Sync is off when you run PCSX2 for the first time, so that should be enabled to avoid screen tearing. Both of the God of War games have a patch to change the field of view. It's called the widescreen patch, but you don't have to enable it since it essentially just pulls the camera back a bit. But there's no harm in turning it on. And once you're playing the games, remember to enable widescreen and progressive scan from the menus. Progressive scan especially makes the visuals look a lot better. As for RPCS3, there's not much to talk about. I suppose the one big difference is that you can now play the God of War collection, whereas before you had to launch the games individually to avoid crashing. There's been a lot of work done under the hood to improve the emulator's compatibility, so the developers should be lauded for their hard work. There's also a widescreen patch which I assume changes the FOV, similarly to how it works for PCSX2. So now that both emulators can run the God of War games equally well, and with default settings, which is actually best for you? Well, it depends on your hardware. Frankly, you don't need a high-end PC to run the games on RPCS3, but PCSX2 is so well optimised these days that the God of War games can run on a toaster there really are no graphical differences to speak of, so I'll stick my neck out and suggest that you give PCS X2 a try. But okay, if you got this far, maybe give a like. It will be much appreciated. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.